Hello, this is Keith from KMA's Corner. I'm on my single player world, and I'm up really, really high. Scary high. There's a reason why I'm up here. Um, I am going to build a mob spawner trap up here. And I'm going to build a villager breeder right behind me. Yes. Up in the sky where nothing can play around. So once I get, I'm going to build the villager spawner first. Villager breeder up in the sky. Um, and I'm going to get a couple of villagers and transport them up here. So I can tear that down behind my head. You know, right above my head. That breeder is in the way of a golem farm that you can't see because i so far away. So... After we build the villager breeder up here, on this side we're going to build a mob farm of some sort. So, I don't know what type of mob farm we're going to build. Exactly, I know it's going to be a flushing system, and I'm going to build an item sorter underneath with some uh, hoppers to collect everything, so basically their fall will um, kill them. And then what, once it's built, I'm going to make an AFK point a little bit higher. I'm only 175 blocks up right now. The actual spawners and the breeder is going to only be 80 to 100 blocks high. I might make it 100 blocks high, then build up above that for the AFK. Because I want the ground to be completely out of the mix. I don't want anything in the ground bothering um, the spawning rates here so hopefully next time you see me I will have some of the villager breeder done and I will let you know what's going on and how it works it's a different version of that over there my series lately I've been just making a bunch of different things over and over again showing you different ways of doing it um, I don't know the serenity server uh, series that I play I showed you three different ways to deal with mob spawners or spider spawners. Uh, the cave spiders uh, gully effect, the normal spider way of killing things, then the dropping thing with the minecart collection. Here I showed you how to do the impulse kind of villager breeder and today I'm going to show you a different type that I think probably will work better because I've had some troubles with the impulse version. Nothing against Impulse, the version is great, it's just my faults, things I didn't really account for. But, enough talking, let's get to work. Yes, I have finished my Villager Breeder. This is my breeding system right behind me here. It's way up in the sky. And look, there's a Villager here on a platform that is 4x3 with 6 doors on it. And, you know, you see all this track? That's how I got him up here. And that was a pain in the behind. As getting all villagers up here. But I, I refuse to use power rails just because I like things difficult. So here's a little video clip of me getting this guy up here. Um, it's sped up because it would take way too long and lose your interest right away. So here you go. Then I'll show you what else I've done.
so after I got this guy up here, I haven't even looked at his trades. Um, I made the real cart go up here so I can add more villagers. And this is the actual breeder itself. That's the guy that makes them breed. So like, you know, normal, normal villager farms um, like that usually have a guy either up high like I did or underneath the ground under some glass. So uh, it can pretend there's a village there. So people do the unlimited breeding. That's kind of what this is. Um, so I have the villagers in there. Hi, 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 hi. And as you see, they're sharing um, carrots right now. And there's a dispenser with water there. Just And when the babies are born, there's this one whole thing where they can come out and they go there. Let me go underneath and see if you, I can show you the babies without dying. So there's a couple of babies there. And when they grow up, uh, they'll actually, oh, here we go, rise up and move over and fall back down into the villager breeder. The uh, reason why I have it looping right now um, is because I want about 40 villagers in there. Uh, to maximize the power of this. Now if you look up at my entities setting, it looks like I have 15 and when I look down I must have three babies in there. So 18 total. I need twice as many. So basically what I need to do is AFK and watch these guys breed. Um, so let me jump over here. So what I did for a little while, I me, mean, they're trying to breed again. Maybe we'll be lucky enough to get, see a baby get born, uh, so you can see how everything works. But I sat here for um, two or three day-night cycles, and I got a bunch of babies. I ended up starting with eight, so I've doubled in probably a 20 to 30 minute span here. Um, be careful when you have these tracks set up, especially like I do. There's no lights on them, so if you stay here at night, monsters will spawn and they'll come after your villagers. So that's why I put a bed here. Anytime it even gets close to night, I take a, a nap and um, go from there. So I have this AFK platform 160 blocks up, um, so about 100 blocks from the bottom. And. My initial intentions was to make the mob, not spawner, uh, spawn pads up here to drop mobs down, but I want to make sure that I, um, the entities won't conflict. See, if I have a bunch of villagers here, it may inflict, um, so I can't spawn, spawn as many mobs on the spawning platforms over there, which will be unfortunate. If that is the case, I will move it farther away to be out of range of this. Um, but that's what I'm going to look into, and I can only sleep at night. Come on, produce a baby. And if they, if you produce a baby, I'll cut this clip now, and I'll show you some work on a spawner. Nah, it doesn't look like they're gonna be any baby making. Um, once you do get them in there, because they are new and they don't have inventory space, you do have to throw them food every once in a while. Um, and believe it or not, I have fallen off of here. And 100 blocks up, Feather Fallen 4 gave me a half a heart. <laughs> Thank God for Feather Fallen 4. So, I'm gonna work on the, um, spawning platform now for the mobs and I'll get back with you. I'm up here in the sky up where I was gonna make my mob spawner right next to the villager thing I made over there and here it is. Here is the mob spawner. It's based on a mumbo jumbo design but it's um, made a little bit uh, <clears throat> smaller, uses less resources instead of I don't know 30 or 40 dispensers. I only have, let's see, four, eight, 16 dispensers in this thing. Um, 
there's a water dispenser right there and it spreads out and this is the covery of the water the covery of the water this is where the water covers that design right there you can kind of see the water is on the edge and a couple of mobs are falling out um, and it comes out and it pushes the mobs out so there's a water dispenser on each one of these corners not corners the center of each aisle there or whatever you want to call it and it comes out and pushes the mobs out there's four layers of it and it's all inside darkness so let me show you the timer on it and the easy pretty easy redstone you just got to find out the right time for you um and i forgot i made a hole here and i fell down there and died and also another time i tried to quick jump off this ladder while i was making this and i died so add two more deaths because of this episode so that makes three so far in the series just for your information <laughs> But basically, there's a ledge going around this whole outside that runs the redstone around to each one of these uh, dispensers with water in it. And this is the timer that goes along with it, the Etho Hopper timer. I have, I think, one stack of blocks in here. Um, normally, I only use like 20 or so, but the water is there and it sticks around for three or four seconds after each time the water gets collected by the dispenser so I decided to give it a little bit more time for mobs to spawn and there's another clock to update the uh, to push the dispenser it's the delay because this turns it on once for the click and this counts out the time it's uh, two four six eight ten repeaters set to four ticks Ooh, actually one of them is not set for four ticks that is kind of how it works uh, this comes over here sets a positive single out puts the water out this counts the time for the 10 repeaters at four ticks to suck the water back in then mobs can spawn then this comes out and pours out the water again it's pretty simple looks maybe a little confusing if you don't know anything about redstone but it is on the level of pretty simple I'm gonna go down here real quick just to prove to you that I have no drops. Um, I'm gonna pick up the crap, so I'm just gonna speed this up real quick because you don't need to see this. Okay guys, um, this is my spawning platform and I'm going to let it cycle through one. The thing just turned on with nothing being able to spawn. As you can see, some things are dropping out and you can see the white explosions on the grounds of the spawn of the mobs coming out of there. I found out that the villagers do not impact this. Villagers are on the friendly mode and friendlies don't interfere with the hostile mob caps. So that's why I'm able to build it so close to there. And even if it did interfere, I'm getting so many drops out of this that I wanted just to see for a couple of times through the cycle, uh, show you guys how much I actually get. It is simply amazing. Um, I am completely amazed by how much I actually receive from this machine. Um, it is probably my second favorite build that I've done in all of Minecraft other than the gold farm based on Impulse SV. And you can see the mobs falling down and the little explosions of when they're hitting. Uh, eventually, I, I'm going to build a catch thing underneath and funnel the um, mobs to the center and put a dropper, not a dropper, a hopper collection thing underneath so I can put a, an item dispenser and sort out everything. But I'm saying a half hour, 45 minutes, and I'll have a double chest of all the drops from all the um, mobs on here. So I'm just going to wait a second for the sun to go down and watch this. And then I'm going to go down and just show you the what I've gotten from this uh, in just this small amount of time. I mean, look at the mobs. They're about to fall out. There is a ton of them. And the reason why this works is I'm AFKing the ground is basically not loaded um, it is kind of loaded a little bit because I'm not really high enough for it 
but it basically is not loaded and that is good enough to let this thing um, basically create as many mobs as possible uh, without interference from mobs on the ground so I'm gonna go down take a nap and find go down all the way down to the ground and show you what I've made and what the minute that I've been up there on that spawn platform <laughs> There's so many mobs up here that you can hear the audio problems with it. Um, the clicking of the villagers. I mean, look at that. So, being a single player world, uh, there's not going to be much that I can uh, improve upon this because obviously um, I'm not going to really need that many mobs. And I think these mobs that are here, down here now, are just spawned because it was nighttime. Oh. Let me kill these guys. I don't know how safe these are. Hey. That's my iron bar. Okay. Let's uh, kill a couple more of these suckers. Okay. Looks pretty good. But you see the amount of mob drops down here I mean it's kind of a mess but that was what a minute up there and look at this crap I mean I I've made the machine I'm gonna do what 10 minutes up there and I have enough mob drops for the rest of this world's you know I'm not gonna need any more which was worthy of me um, I had to go mining for those blocks and stuff uh, I had to go mining for about three hours to get enough cobble for that because I used up all my cobble for the Gullum farm, which I'm not using right now because of that village over there. So that has wielded me, you know, about a minute, almost a stack of everything that I would need, uh, which is also fallen here. There's a stack of arrow, almost a stack of arrows. So these are. Oh. Jesus, that scares the hell out of me whenever that happens. And these are just residual mods for me being up there. So these are actually more drops from that up there. Um, so basically, I'm going to do what I did in the Iron Golem form. Is make a water thing um, around the whole bottom. And scurry them into the center so they drop from the center. And the other thing that I have done, as you see, I now have villagers down here. I'm a little afraid of their safety because of little babies coming in here and turning one of these. But this is just a temporary setup right now until I can trade with them and move them over there for the keepers that I want. And so I can get all the different books I want and traders and farmers. Let me just show you real quick what I've done. So maybe speed up these the stairs again my life of stairs lately okay you hear the clicking of all the villagers in there that's them up and jumping up and down and I got a couple of babies before when the babies grew up they went up and then they came back over and they filled in there but I blocked that off so now when they go up um, they come up and they come out then they fall down this tunnel which has that water drop at the bottom so they don't die um, and I have 43 villagers in there um, I think actually 41 villagers in the holding cell these two and then the, the spawner villager over there so this village village breeder works f excellent and uh, oops I kind of let it breed up from the initial I forget how many I put in there two while I was building this and I got the oh close to 40 at least 40 in the center there and now I'm supposed to be getting like 30 villagers an hour or something like that the hard part is to keep them fed um, so that's why that big farm that I made that was said was useless it's actually working out really well because I don't have to worry about food at all. So, um, I'm going to make the water catch underneath here and come back. Oh, there comes a little baby. 
But I'm gonna um, build the water catch down here and come back in the video, uh, show you what that's all about, and hopefully have a sorting system, maybe down there and uh, do an AFK for maybe an hour to see exactly what I can get in an hour of staying up here. I'm still kind of afraid to let night come with all the villagers around. So I love watching these things fall. I wish I could get a better vantage point to see them fall. But uh, what you need to do is be at least 24 blocks away. What I, what I did was set this um, place 25 or I think it was 25 blocks from the closest spawning pad. And as long as you're within like 30, 40 blocks, you're going to be okay. And look at the little explosions of dead bodies down there. Kind of love it. And that was only a partial um, time for them to spawn. So let's give it one more big spawn and we'll race down there and see what we've got in just a couple minutes. Um, I'm very happy with the spawner. I'm going to build one on Serenity, I think, and make another shop of uh, mob drop stuff. The bones and arrows are not a big deal on the server, but I could get a lot of diamonds selling um, gunpowder. It's a great way of getting gunpowder. It does hurt my frames a little bit. I'm running like 15 to 20 frames when the redstone clicks and up to 20 to 30 frames when things are all done but um, it's worth it and I can turn this thing off pretty easily so let's go check out what we've got going down here yeah baby so even then I mean really the best place to be is at the very top of that platform and look at all this crap and that's just because it renders the world obsolete and the only spawns are in that area um, so very happy about the way this farm is working and like I, I said I haven't even gone AFK on this thing yet and look at the amount of crap I'm getting I, I'm totally psyched about this Come on, for real? Going down for reals. Uh, um, <laughs> sorry for bad songs there. Yeah, so I definitely gotta make an item sorter here and make the water catch freight, catch thing underneath. I'm gonna do it, like I said, exactly like the golem farm. And instead of having one hole in the center, it's probably gonna have a nine block area or even maybe a 16 block area in the center where I'll just make a glass tube down to a item sorter thing where everything dies and gets sucked up by the hoppers and goes to the item sorter just like I made on the farm over there and um, I think one AFK session will cause me to never have to use this machine again which is a very very good thing so the things fall on the hoppers and it goes to the item hopper thing and here's the filter with the stuff in the do not use nether rock. And then it gets sorted into here. Um, I kind of went into how to make one of those over at the farm. <laughs> I, I chuckle because, well, it's a family joke. Um, but anyways, I uh, definitely have to make this look better because it is pretty, um, you know, I'm going to put these walls and stuff, but I'm still making it. I want this glass pillar to go all the way up and yes I did die again because like a Nimrod I wanted to see how high up the you know if I was in the right place for the gra glass pillar so I made one pillar all the way up to the top and I'm like okay uh, how do I get down so I jumped hoping that my feather fallen four would protect me because once I fell down from all the way up there and um, I survived the fall, but ever since I've fallen three more times and I have not f survived. But in order for me to make a second video this week, I'm going to have to end this video soon because uh, this video has taken a lot of time, lots of blocks placed, and I even had to go farm cobblestone and smelt it up just so I could make the repeaters and stuff for the um, 
the item sorter down there and I I just needed 20 smooth stone or something like that 21 and I didn't even have enough stone on me so I am way out of blocks all right guys I'm getting out of here my item sorter is done the tube to the top is almost halfway done uh, and still probably need 15 more stacks of glass it won't take me too long to put that on there um, and this project will be done other than beautifying the bottom because you know he's seen netherrack there and we don't really want to see that here but that's going to do it for this episode i hope you enjoy the villager breeder and this thing that i think everybody should make even though it's an eyesore uh, make it in a place that you don't really want to visit much or whatever uh, i was thinking of different ways of covering up and making it this all look good uh, one was doing a house down here covering up the item sorter and the villagers over there and the other one was making a floating island like uh, Roger Dean did with the old Yes album covers but that's been done so much um, and I really don't have faith excuse that look of my um, abilities to make a good looking floating island and I'm not going to spend a whole bunch of time making something that looks like crap but we'll see what happens but until then this is Keith have a great day, and then I'll see you in the next video.